What's going on, y'all? Halo Drummer here yet again with another Rewind Rumble reaction. This one is uh, Falcon from the Marvel movies versus Storm Eagle from Mega Man. Um, I think this matchup is fucking hilarious. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't really know which way to lean. I know who Falcon is, and I've played the Mega Man games. Um... But I feel like my best friend will love this one because he is a Marvel fanatic and I know he knows about the Mega Man games and their bosses and stuff like that. Pretty much almost anything I know about Marvel is because of him. So, <coughs> this is for you, D-Square. Birds are majestic creatures. They come in all shapes and sizes. Arguably the most dangerous of birds are falcons and eagles. Today we will put a falcon up against an eagle in a fight, but there's a twist. We have Sam Wilson, aka the Falcon, and Storm Eagle, the leader of the Maverick Hunter 7th Air Platoon and close friend to Mega Man X and Zero. Today we see which bird is the most dangerous. Today we rewind rumble. I'd say one's completely mechanized though, so... But who knows? Sam Wilson had a hard life growing up. He lived through a tough neighborhood with his mother and father. One day in typical superhero origin fashion, Sam's father was tragically killed while trying to put a stop to a fight between two rival gangs. But the tragedy didn't stop there. His mother was then murdered by a common mugger while she tried to protect him. Sam did his best to do the right thing, but he eventually got into a tussle with the Red Skull. Good thing Captain America was by his side, and together they were able to defeat him. But during that time, Red Skull used the powers of the Cosmic Cube to telepathically communicate with birds. This is where we bring the most iconic animal pal, Red Wing. After receiving a little help from the Black Panther, rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman by the way, Absolutely. he was given a special harness that allowed him to fly. This is where Sam becomes Cap's new sidekick and dons the name Falcon. Of course, Falcon's relationship with Red Wing is important to take note of. Red Wing proves to be a good distraction for Falcon's foes, as it can allow for easier openings on his foes, and Red Wing is also quite good at using his sharp talons and beak for combat. Falcon can even use his telepathic connection to see through the eyes of Red Wing if he ever needs a bird's eye view, no pun intended. And why a character who can already fly needs that is beyond me, but who am I to judge? As for Falcon's own stats and powers, due to some intense training, he has peak physical strength. Thanks to some tips from good old Captain America, he was strong enough to send crossbones flying with a single kick, break a metal bar with his own hands, and even break free from his own chains. He also has pain endurance greater than most humans. He was able to continue to function after getting stabbed by a sword, and he even managed to stay alive after being burned by several AIM agents. Sam may be a skilled fighter on the ground, but being in the air is where he really shines. Thanks to his experience in martial arts and other techniques taught to him by Cap, he quickly became one of the best air fighters in the world, even giving up other expert aerial fighters like Iron Man and Miss Marvel a run for their money. His jet-powered glider is capable of traveling at speeds up to roughly 250 miles per hour. Thanks to the intelligence of Black Panther and Iron Man, they have outfitted Falcon's wings with plenty of gadgets to help him in combat. These wings have varied in design over the years, and he's shown to be skilled at using all versions to give his opponents a scary experience of a falcon circling over them, ready for their next meal. His wings can also protect him from many different objects, such as city-busting explosions, bullets, and more. However, if an opponent does damage his wings to the point of them not being able to function properly, Falcon will use the ability to fly and be limited to fighting on the ground. And while he can take more damage than an average human, without his wings to protect him, he can die from physical wounds, though he can survive longer thanks to his peak human pain endurance. Storm Eagle is a lightning-fast robotic eagle and close friend to Mega Man 2.0 and Mega Man with a lightsaber. Obviously, those are not their names, but you know who I'm referring to. He is liked by many due to his noble nature and cool-headedness in the heat of battle. However, the poor robotic bird had a very tragic end to his life after he was taken under Sigma and forced to serve him. After a tragic battle with the reluctant Mega Man X, he sadly met his end. There's your whole Storm Eagle story from beginning to end in a nutshell. Now you're probably wondering what makes him so powerful. Well, for starters, he originates from the Mega Man X games, which shows greater feats than the yeah. original Mega Man games. So in my opinion, that's gotta be a good start already. Storm Eagle has plenty of attacks up his robotic sleeves. 
First, there's his Storm Tornado, which doesn't do much damage to his foes, but rather pushes them away, so while it may not be good offensively, it could still keep a safe distance from his foes defensively. He can also use a stronger version of this attack with his own wings, making the gusts of wind stronger. He can also shoot feathers at his opponents to make it easier to knock them down, of course. Plus, he can produce an egg out of his beak, and I am not kidding, that's serious, but in my opinion, this would be much more gross if it wasn't a robot. When he drops this egg, it cracks open, and four bird-shaped robots emerge to attack his enemies. Storm Eagle's main way of attacking is by flying high into the air and hitting them with range attacks or swooping down and diving into them when they least see it coming. And thanks to how fast he is, his opponents would likely never see it coming. Storm Eagle is also incredibly smart. After all, he's not only smart enough to lead the other Maverick Hunters, He's a highly skilled combatant, specifically in aerial combat. He has plenty of combat experience fighting the likes of Sigma and even Mega Man X, who is definitely more powerful than the OG Robot Boy from the original games, and fighting on par with him is definitely an impressive feat. However, he isn't perfect, and while he's fought plenty of heavy hitters, he sadly never did take out the likes of Sigma, let alone X himself. He did put up a solid effort, but he was ultimately defeated, automatically proving that he's not the strongest Mega Man X character. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will just take place on Earth, and part. remember, oh, well. there is no prep time. Let the battle begin! Alright, let's see what happens. Like I said, this is for you, T-Square. I'm sure you know about, more about both of these characters than I do. Stop right there! Get out That's of my Super Mario World layout. Are you crazy? Prepare to die before me, Caveman. I'm just gonna say, would he not be bulletproof? So, what exactly was that eagle doing? He was just fucking with your vision? Jerry sure can't actually hurt you. Did I call it an eagle? I think I meant to say Falcon. If I didn't say Falcon. For me, it plays to the fact that uh, Falcon is human and Storm Eagle is not. He's purely mechanized. So a straight up fight wouldn't work well in uh, Falcon's favor. I thought he'd like EMP him or something like that. But then again, I think he'd EMP himself. I don't know. And the Eagle beat the Falcon because Eagles are bigger and have sharper talons and beaks, which may or may not be true, I'm not a biologist. Anyway, this video is about <laughs> the Falcon versus Mario, Storm Eagle Super and Sam the Falcon background. who didn't have hilarious. what it takes to put Storm Eagle down. Both of them could control the air thanks to their flight, and thanks to Falcon's control over birds via telepathy and Storm Eagle's robotic telepathy. birds, there isn't really a way for either of these two to There's cancel each other out. So what this ultimately comes down to is who has the better overall stats, and this is an easy question to answer, as Storm Eagle does have the stats to stomp Falcon into next 
week. Falcon's best feats put him at massively hypersonic and city level. On a rare occasion with the right technology, Falcon might be able to reach solar system level via scaling to Nova, but that was only because he had a shield to protect himself. In a fight with no preparation, he's not going to be ready enough to use that shield to his advantage, especially when Storm Eagle blitzes him with his speed. Falcon was fast enough to dodge lightning strikes from Storm, he was also able to travel to low orbit in just a matter of seconds, giving him massively hypersonic levels of speed, his wings are also durable enough to protect him from a city level blast, you could argue that he could have feats greater than this since he did fight the likes of Nova, but honestly, scaling Falcon directly to Nova doesn't really work or make sense. But I'll tell you what does make sense, Storm Eagle has fought the likes of Sigma and Mega Man X, both of whom can reach solar system level with ease. Yes, Storm Eagle did did lose these fights, but it wasn't a horrible loss. He did fight closely and was on par with them, and since he can definitely scale to X, this easily makes him MFTL plus with speed as he is superior to the original Mega Man who could already reach speeds of over 250 times the speed of light. Falcon may have been the overall more skilled fighter due to being trained by Captain America, but it doesn't mean much when Storm Eagle is so much faster and more powerful than him. Also his control over the wind thanks to his wings and wind based attack could be able to cause Falcon a trouble in the air when he's trying to fly. So yeah, Falcon did try his best, but ultimately he stood no shot in trying to rival Storm Eagle's superior speed, power, and durability, making the winner of this rumble, Storm Eagle. On the next... Stop you right there. Yeah, that was pretty slick. Yeah, I can see how he won that fight. Like I said, he's purely mechanized. He didn't mention that part. It's just, yeah, unlike the cyborgs that are in the Dragon Ball uh, universe. He's a straight android. So, yeah, I didn't really see Falcon winning that fight. But, yeah, it is what it is. On to the next time when I have time. So, until then, peace.